I've been to 32 countries as a solo black female traveler. And by far, one of my most frequently asked questions is how I get my hair done, where I find places to get my hair done. So far, I've gotten my hair done in Paris, Warsaw, Poland, London, and now soon to be Guatemala City, Guatemala. So come with me to get berets in Guatemala City. I always book an Airbnb so I can wash my hair, condition, and detangle without having to share a space. Then when I look like homegirl from Polar Express, I'm ready to go. Through social media, I find braiders, and this time on Instagram, I found lifestyle braids. The key for me is to find videos, not just pictures, and look at their tag posts. Seeing tag posts will likely not be in perfect light, nor fresh out the chair, so you get to see the true results. I also look at their parts and if the braid is the same size from the root to the tip. Lifestyle braids checked all those boxes, so I booked an appointment. As for pricing, it varies, of course, on the size, style, etc., and whether you're a local or a foreigner. Typically, I'm asked immediately where I'm from and thus the price suggests. Not ideal, but it comes with the territory of being a tourist. To help get an idea if you're being fully scammed or not, reach out to multiple places in Comparative Shop. See what places charge and, and what's included. Make sure, too, to get the price and what methods of payment they accept in writing before your appointment so there's no confusion or, again, scamming the day of. Lastly, if there's a language barrier, use a translator while texting them back and forth and make a note filled with key phrases you'll need during the appointment. My appointment was all in Spanish and I learned key words and phrases beforehand and it made things go so smooth. Basically, never assume they speak English. Here's the final result, which I love, and that's how I find braiders as I travel the world. Follow for more of my adventures around the world. A peace. Bye.